we keep talking about the Mexican teams, uh, under 17s, under 20, being maybe the bright light in what it is right now, a very dark time for Mexican soccer. How important do you think this victory was for Mexican soccer as such after everything we've discussed uh, in terms of result of late? Yeah, you mean the, just there's a long list of... The, the yes. under 20, the Olympic, the women, Nations League, uh, yes. Senior squad. All that. Um, for fans, this is, this is huge. Uh, for the players in this tournament, it's huge. For, for maybe some people out there who care very much about the youth setup, this is great for the morale. Um, you and I are very much in this. We work the Portes every single day. Uh, this has been a snippet for, for the Mexican media. Yeah, it, it, it barely made news. It, 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 which really surprised me, but you always say something that I think is, is very valuable when we talk about like cup games, right? It's something that gives you very little, but if you lose it, if you lose it, people are going to know. Yeah. That, that's when people are going to come at you. And I think it's the, it's the same thing. Now, if we were doing like a something, you know, nothing or everything type of deal, with, with this, the fifth time they've won it. Five straight. Yeah. The, Mexico is a Six world of the last seven. power when it comes to youth football. That's what they are. There's no two ways about it. Uh, both teams were already qualified. Yes, it is a Clásico. They want to win. But I was very surprised at the way they won. The U.S. very much so dominated possession. You couldn't see that in the highlights, but they had lots of chances. Uh, Mexico was content on sitting back. 68% possession yes. for the U.S. Yes, sitting back in their two lines, their two blocks, and were very good in, in absorbing, very good in, in using transition moments. And they beat the U.S. the way the U.S. has historically beaten Mexico. When they've beaten Mexico <laughs> at all levels, it's been that way. Defensively come back. Yes, transition. Let's get some set-piece goals if we can. Mexico did it playing differently. And to me, that is very valuable. This team, so good defensively, gave up two goals all tournament. A lot to be said with them changing. Now, will it be accepted going forward at the senior level if this is the way? Uh, that would be interesting. I never, ever worry about the under-17s for Mexico. Right. They're always great. Right. They're always good. And I was checking the list of the players and the teams that they have played at, none of this player has ever played a single minute in the first division, which is fine, right? They're all right. 15, 16, 17 years old. But now I want to see what happens with this very team That's it right in there, the right? next couple of years. How do they graduate? Are they going to get any yeah. chances? I was looking at Carrillo, the goal scorer, right? Is he going to be able to play above who? Right El Mulo Aguirre, right? Yeah. The foreign players? Yeah. Not sure. Um, Chivas has... Three very good players in this squad. We keep asking, why is she was spending a lot of money trying to attract already consolidated, experienced players when they can actually go back and look at their youth system? Right. Right? So, not concerned at all. It's good that they won. Yeah, it is. It has to be a little something, right? It's yeah, good. Especially it's good that you, you create culture and you win and you make a habit of winning. Especially when you go back and look at the two rosters that have won a U-17 World Cup. Um, that first... U17 roster was probably the biggest, I would say, proponent to, you say, those players became stars. The Giovanni yeah. Dos Santos, the Carlos Velas, even the players who didn't go on. Chicharito Hernandez, who missed out in that World Cup, became a star. You look at the second set, you're talking about Pollo Briseño, you're talking about Spiricueta, you're talking about Julio Gomez, you're talking about Richard Sanchez. Yeah. There's a big difference. Now, how do you get them to graduate like the first team did? That is, that is the bigger question. I mean, what's going to happen with these players moving forward? Under 17, I mean, top class yeah. all the time. We'll see how that happens moving on. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.